to the Times, Josh. Undermining British values is to be considered extremism. Finally, we're going to lock up those queue jumpers. That's exactly the first thing I wrote. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> that's, what, that's basically what it's about. How do you define British values? Yeah, yeah. I've written that um, now. Yeah, that was, uh, oh, no, no. Next story. This is the story. the next story. <laughs> yeah, so groups undermining British values to be guilty of extremism. Now, the present definition is uh, of extremism is a vocal or active opposition to fundamental British values, uh, hence the joke about cues. Uh, they're looking to change it to, uh, to actions that undermine the country's institutions and the, all the values uh, because and, they, and and the reason why this is important is that actually gives the government to the power to do something, which is uh, at the moment they can uh, exclude people from government uh, or council funding, be um, be barred from working uh, with public bodies. So if they put through this new uh, definition, they're going to have to like get half the civil service to quit. Uh, I don't know who's going to run the country. But what we're seeing overall, yeah, <laughs> yeah. overall, no, for a week, um, is, uh, and we're seeing it across Europe, and you're having these liberal democracies are sort of somewhat presented with the dilemma of maintaining what keeps the, uh, keeps us a liberal democracy uh, and those freedoms. And at the same time, they're being threatened by these seemingly outside sources of forces, even though they're in. And we saw that, obviously, over the last few weeks with the, uh, what I would call the hate marches. Uh, but we've also seen it with things like Just Stop Oil and attacking uh, MPs' homes and whatnot. Uh, France is getting tough, and they just kicked someone out, like, basically straight away. And they said, right, like, th this guy was like, the, the French flag is satanic. They're like, right, see you later, you're on a plane. Uh, and that's kind of stuff. You have to be careful, though, of course, not to throw the baby out with... Without, without the, you know, with, with the uh, Islamic extremists. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's, and then and one of the <laughs> other things they're going to do, yeah, is they're going to, they're drawing up a list of foreign extremist preachers who'll be banned from entry to Britain. But it's like, what, you've been letting them in already? <laughs> You're on the list. Oh, come and the first thing I would do is go, look, we've got all this insane footage of mosques and these like hate speech coming out of mosques. If any of them aren't UK citizens, on a plane, goodbye. That would be my first step in my is, week running the country. Is there a worry about if you make a new law, you've got to see its unintended consequences? So not only do you have mm. to define British values, you kind of have to define undermining. Because, you know, if you tell jokes about the House of Lords not working, are we going to get deported, the stand-up comedians? Off, off you go, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Look, you're absolutely right. And this is quite conflicting in many ways because, you know, we're nearly all of us uh, free speech advocates. And the idea that you can uh, you should be free and liberal to live your life in a, in a liberal, democratic way is, an, is in the essence of all of us, I think. And to some degree, this this contradicts that. However, we've seen where we've got. And the trouble is, like we've both said, both the three of us, like we've all said, um, we, we have, I think we would have to start again and redefine what our values are because we don't really understand what our values are any longer. We've gone so far down the rabbit hole of Britain is bad and white people are bad and we should feel guilty about this. And do you know what your grandfather did 600 years ago? It's like, all right, mate, I'm sorry. We need to get over it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you mate. Late we bosses, live on Big Macs yeah. in our family. No, no wonder that you uh, didn't inherit any money. <laughs> it's like they, they, fly, so. they were in a home yeah. that long. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, do you know what? I think... This is tricky ground. I like the idea. Of course I do. I'm a gammon. I'm red-blooded. I want to get them out. But, you know, where do you draw the line? And it's within law, it's going to be so difficult to define. Because you're going to say, well, he said this and he said that. And we say all these things on stage every Friday, Saturday night. Crazy stuff, just to get a laugh. I don't have to leave. I don't, do, I don't even do it to get a laugh. <laughs> I don't get a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, no one ever sees me doing it. Small crowds, I'll get away with it.